In this tutorial, I'm going to take your regular everyday photos and make them spectacular with Luminar Neo's Neon and Glow. I'm going to take this picture of this handsome young rogue and make it special like it's his birthday or something. Now, if you're like me and use the mighty Wacom tablet and still can't draw, this is the tutorials for you. Let's check it out. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab just a selection of this dude. So let's go up top to our contextual taskbar, hit select subject. Now what I want to do is I want to go up top and go expand selection by one pixel, just so I can get everything in his hair and everything in there. Now let's copy it to a new layer and we'll turn that layer off. So let's go back to the background layer here. Now let's go over and grab our quick selection tool and go grab a selection of his shirt. Hold your Alt key down to get rid of anything you don't want. Or add. We don't want this by itself. Now let's add a bit to his collar. Remove what you don't want. Now let's go over to paths. Hold your Alt key down and create a path. We'll leave the tolerance at five. Now go back to layers. Make a new layer and call it shirt. Now let's hit your P key again. We have to make sure that our brush tool is five pixels and 100% flow and opacity, which is cool. So hit your P key again, right click and stroke path and we'll choose our brush. Hit escape twice. Let's go down here and do a solid color adjustment layer. Make sure it's black, all zeros. Hit OK, and now we're going to move it underneath. Now let's grab the shirt layer and the color fill, and we'll merge them. Go up to Filter, Skylum Software, Luminar Neo. Now we'll go under Edit, Creative, and Neon and Glow. Let's take the amount and make it 50. All right, very cool. We got this great purple going on here. I want to change it to blue. So change it to a nice blue, which is roughly 234. I'm going to have the amount at 50, the indent at minus 10. So let's click in here, minus 10, enter. So it's just around. The spread will be 75. Bring it up a bit. Atmosphere at 10. And whiteness at 35. Very cool. All right, let's hit apply. All right, now let's change our blend mode to screen. Either screen or linear dodge. Linear dodge is just a little more intense, but let's make it to screen. Looking very cool so far. Now, next thing we'll do, we're going to go under shapes and the custom shape tool. And we're going to go under legacy shapes and more, all legacy shapes and shapes and we're going to grab the star now we'll make sure that the fill is nothing the stroke is white it'll be five pixels and hold your shift key down right in front of his nose here and let's make a star so it goes around his head all right now go over here and let's throw it to the back very cool again solid color adjustment layer black make it go underneath now if you want you can hit your v key and move it down a bit or whatever you wish but i'm going to leave it where it was select both of them merge now filter skylum software luminar neo now we'll go to edit and creative and neon and glow again we'll make the amount roughly about 50. now what we'll do so what I want to do is I want to indent down to zero and we'll make it a different color and kind of make it a reddish. And I'll take the whiteness, bring it down a bit, a little more atmosphere, hit apply. Now we'll change our blend mode, screen, and we've got this great star around him. Okay, here comes the cool part. Now turn on the layer we made earlier that's above everything else. 
and bam, everything's behind them. Now you can adjust whatever you want to adjust with either the star or the shirt. But here we go, outlined and behind them, looking cool. Well, there you have it. You can make any picture special for whoever you want by using shapes and shaping around the person. If this tutorial helped you at all, please like and subscribe. You won't break that nail. I'm done from Photo 911. See ya.